Hey guys, Frostman here. Um, just wanted to do a, a quick update or video at least of uh, what I've been working on this week. I uh, haven't really had a whole lot of time to work on things. I've been trying to play catch up on uh, uh, one of my servers crapping out, so I had to order parts for it. So, uh, But at any rate, here's what I have working on this week. Um, kind of a revisit, um, actually it is a revisit, um, of the uh, H HVAC blower project that I was working on. Um, kind of repurpose that whole thing. I'm pretty sure it actually might be more of a permanent home uh, for it um, since it worked out so well for me. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is uh, set up Christmas lights, um, you know, being the season. It actually doesn't even necessarily need to be Christmas lights, but um, what I wanted to be able to do was set up so that uh, I could time the lights, maybe even add a pattern if I really wanted to, um, or even just be able to control them from the web kind of broadening my horizons a little bit for other projects that I want to do later. Um, so I wanted to kind of dip my toes in the water a little bit. So, But anyway, here's what I what I have it in right now, which actually worked out quite perfect. Um, this is a power conditioner for a copier. Um, the board in it fried. Uh, it was destined for the trash, but the case was perfect. Um, on the front of it, you have four outlets on it. And uh, since I only had the two relay pack, what I ended up doing is uh, I split these into twos rather than using them all four, which actually would have been kind of neat um, if I had a four pack. Uh, but I have them split, so A and B, um, two outlets per channel. And uh, the rest of it actually, again, quite came, to, came together quite nicely. Um, even as far as the cord um, was perfect. Um, sealed at the back end of it a little bit. Uh, this was kind of a uh, pass-through uh, for the copier. Um, and then I added the switch and the LED, which, uh, of course, the LED that I put in there was burnt out. Uh, and it's glued in there. <laughs> so, anyway, um, and then I sealed up the, the opening because, obviously, I don't have Ethernet to be plugging in there. But, um, yeah, I uh, wanted it to be somewhat weatherproof just in case it does end up being outside. Um, there is a Wi-Fi uh, connector on there, and I gave myself room so I could plug in USB um, or other, other whatnots. So anyway, uh, here's a couple things. Uh, let's see if I have. Here we go. So uh, this is kind of a uh, as it's going together kind of view. Um, as you can tell, you know, there's the USBs. I gave myself a little bit of room there. Um, modified, and I say that nicely. Uh, the power adapter. This is a uh, Kindle Fire uh, power adapter. Um, and but I, what I wanted it. I wanted it to be small, but I didn't want to go and get and buy a 120 to a 5 volt. So what I ended up doing is I melted, and I can say that loosely, the front off because I couldn't get the um, I couldn't get it to crack open uh, since they glue it on there to take the um, the AC pins off. So what I did is I kind of melted it off and uh, soldered uh, just a couple wires to it. Uh, it actually worked out quite perfectly because the pins just came off and it just exposed the board and uh, I just soldered directly onto the board. It was perfect. Um, I wanted it this size because I didn't want a huge honking you know, uh, board right there or even just to have it set up to be plugged in or have additional plugs. Um, so that's why it worked out perfectly. I kind of wish I had a smaller USB cable but and you work with what you got. Um, and what you can see here too is the uh, um, power being split right here, so between uh, channel A and channel B. Um, so yeah, that's kind of as it's going together, and then I have this one here, which is pretty much the end uh, setup for it. Um, and again, it's it's pretty much a revisit of the uh, HVAC one. I set those pins up um, the same way I did this one, except this time I'm actually utilizing both channels. Um, so just in case you're keeping tabs, um, pin 2, uh, which is a 5 volt, uh, pin 6, which is ground, pin 12, and pin 16 on the uh, Raspberry Pi GPIOs. Um, those are the ones that we're using. Pin 2 goes to the VOC pin on the relay pack, um, and then pin 6 on the uh, Raspberry Pi goes to the ground. Those are going to be your power for the actual relay pack. Um, and then pin 12, which is GPIO 18 from the uh, Raspberry, 
to input 1 and pin 16, which is GPIO 23. And we're using that for input 2. Again, very similar to the uh, HVAC one. Um, but, um, yeah. And as you can kind of tell, too, where I kind of chopped this off, it looks like it's all melted, but I added, uh, I filled the opening right there with some uh, hot glue because I didn't want, you know, it to just be exposed right there. So I kind of wanted to spare it a little bit. Um, and this is the, um, I guess, kind of the finished product. You can see uh, um, where it's split here. You have channel B, channel A, um, and it comes in. And right here is kind of where you need to pay attention to. You want to switch the black leg. Um, you want to switch the power. Um, and also make sure you have the ground going through. It's always good to run your, always good to have a ground um, from start to finish. Um, so run your black through to your relay pack. Um, and then what you want to make sure you do too um, is pay attention to the uh, actual pinouts here. You want to connect the outlet to the normally open side. So in this case, this is the normally open side. You can kind of tell from the picture. I don't have a really good picture to show you just the relay pack. But basically what it is, as you see in the, in the diagram under it, these two are not naturally connected. Um, so you want, the, you want an open circuit so that way when the relay kicks on, it closes the circuit. So um, this is your supply. And it's the same on both of them. So you don't use this pin. Just screw it in. Screw it in tight. Um, don't do anything with it. Um, don't stick a wire in there because it will be the nut, the naturally uh, connected um, port. So if you do have anything plugged into there, these two wires, this one is going to be live on both these center uh, ports. Those are your that's your supply. So if you have anything plugged into this line here, that will be the naturally connected, and basically it'll be a hot wire just sitting there doing nothing. So you want to make sure there's nothing in there. Um, and that's pretty much it, at least as far as um, how it's all wired up. It's pretty simple. Um, again, it's basically the uh, HVAC project all over again. Um, I didn't have the uh, the jumpers that I have are actually kind of chintzy. They're just the uh, male to male. There's no uh, male to female or even female to female. So I had to kind of improvise and I used, um, I wired them into jumpers. Um, so that way I could just plug it into the jumper and then plug the jumper down into it. So um, I'm going to find something a little bit more creative beyond that. But for now, it, it does its purpose. Um, so, and I gave myself room so I could plug in more into the USB. Um, and the power supply that I chose is a 1 amp. So hopefully that gives me a little bit more oomph on the backside um, in case I do decide to power anything off of the Pi. Um, and then also, too, I could always add more power to it. Um, there's tons of more room in the case. So if I do want to do like a, um, a wireless controller or something, I have plenty of of pins to, to work with so uh, um, that most definitely is going to be something in my horizon uh, maybe a happy Christmas to myself who knows um, but yeah and then um, there was a couple things that I was playing around with like this little guy right here so I just uh, set up a script to just um, do an all on and an all clear um, very simple I'll show you the code here in a second um, and then I just set up a test pie it's basically just a simpler version of the one for the uh, HVAC blower. Um, basically, the test one just loops through it for half a second or so. It stays on the channel, turns it off, switches to the other channel until you actually kill it. And then um, do an all on and an all clear. Turns both on, turns both off, and uh, kind of goes from there. And then, um, because I was playing around a little bit, I also added a uh, web interface to it. There's a lot of stuff that you can really do with this, um, especially with the Pi. You don't have to go with Python, depending on your level of expertise. I'm a simpleton, so I definitely like to uh, kind of keep it simple. Um, you know, if, if it works in Python and I just want to turn it on, I might just stick with that. Who knows? So, 
Um, basically, the um, script that I used is pretty much exactly what the uh, the HVAC one was, where um, you're basically just doing these pins right here or this code right here, and I'll post up another another snippet of code. Um, but instead of it being, you know, sleep for for six minutes or, or uh, ten minutes or thirty minutes or what have you, um, you can just do on all, all on all off. You can do uh, do it to music. You can do quite a few things with it, and then also with the uh, uh, introduction of having a web interface, you can also introduce uh, PHP with it, and you can actually command the lights directly, like I did with the. Uh, um, the set the last video there so and I'll post up how I did that which is not anything to elaborate I just installed PHP 5 and um, Apache onto it and then I just I just ran put a couple buttons on there and I ran a Python script to turn on the lights and turn the all off to turn off the other one so um, at any rate hopefully that works out for somebody else I wanted to share that at least a little bit um, I'll probably expand on it a little bit but um, that's what I have for now. So anyway, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll be 1010 on the side.